nearly 9 out of 10 people suffer from financial stress. This lunar eclipse that is coming is so strong that this is your chance to get out of your financial stress. Great gurus from all over the world knows about this ancient Sri Yantra that if you use it, if you want fast results, in my experience, using Eclipse is the best time to manifest. And you combine the Sri Yantra, you will be so surprised. I will be performing a specific ritual with a prayer that will energize this Yantra, this Eclipse. Visit my website, eatreadlove.me. Hi Libras, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. Asa na yung manghuhula? Andito. <laughs> Kayong mga nandyan talaga. Excited na yung mga Scorpio sa Shopee account. Alam niyo ba yun? Malapit na. Well, anyway, welcome to my channel. How are you guys doing? I was just greeting all the Filipinos out there. And of course, to our brothers and sisters in India, Namaste. <laughs> I'm very jolly tonight because I am so happy to be partially back, okay, because one, I've been busy, okay? You're gonna ask me, Sal, where have you been? Well, like, just with everyone, where was everyone last week in the Olympics? So I was in Paris. Oh, Paris was amazing, you know? I took my broom and then bibidi bobbidi boo yeah, no, I wasn't in Paris. I was busy doing your Lion's Gate. Thank you very much to all. Okay, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna show it to you guys here. Um, it goes by batch. So if you have if you're one of the thousands, um, so we have the first hundred this week and then another week. So we're continuously um uh, shipping it, and then probably by 2035, we are done. Okay, no, 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 I'm kidding. No, thank you very much for your patience. I really appreciate it. But we're shipping uh, by batch every day, and that's why you haven't seen me here in the small world of YouTube. If you're new to my channel, welcome to QVC HSN. Tonight we are doing okay, no, I'm kidding. Mm. Because people be complaining because I'm living my best life, right? Okay. So, Libra, are we ready? Oh, you better get your tea. I got surprise for you. It's going to be a long reading. Because at the end of this, I will be sharing with you guys. I made a little something. If you want to meditate on bringing abundance to your life, okay? When, when I talk about abundance, money, dinero, okay? Andalusia, datong, yen, dinar. What else? Uh, yen. Um, what else? Pesos. Okay. So at the end, I will share with you guys a, um, you know, I prepared myself uh, meditating and attracting um, wealth in your life. Okay. But it's all the way at the end. Um, what else? Uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Sal. The sassiness is free. Yes. The humor is a buffet. But it is Sal's world. That's why it's my channel. So if you want that you, I do something for you, I talk a lot about myself, that's not going to happen. I'm 22 years old. I'm pretty sure I know what I'm doing with my life. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's a mystery here. We're doing Oracle. And, oh, Eclipse is coming. Okay, Eclipse is coming, which I'm going to be sharing with you guys. Um, this is the Sri Yantra, which I will share with you guys later on how to... Um, uh, how do you call this? How to get, we have a free 18 karat Pia, real gold right here. We're going to talk about that. Um, I have a free workshop this coming the 17th of August. Okay. Um, however, I'm not sure because it is a short notice. We might be rescheduling because it comes to the free workshop. It's a five workshop. So I have to update um, because um, the other day, if you're not part of, oh, there is no reading here. You didn't know. It's just me talking. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. No, I, I like to, um, how do you call this, tease a little bit. You know, those haters burn, okay, bleed. Okay, I will talk as much as I want. <laughs> so in the past day, if you're part of our newsletter, uh, this was launch pre-order available 60% off, of course, for the upcoming eclipse. Okay? It's, uh, for the Libra, it's going to happen in... Um, in your sixth house, okay? Because that's where the lunar eclipse that's going to happen. Now, the significant, uh, you know, you know, this house of, of, you know, for you in the six is about your enemies, you know, it's about your health, it's about your debts, it's about the day-to-day, -day, you know. So I'm going to teach you guys how to, um, you know, use the energy of the eclipse together, of course, with all the wonderful things that we have created here as far as the Sri Yantra, okay? We have, we, we got a lot. We got a lot to catch up on, all right? So let me start first the read. Okay. So did I weed out the haters? Are they still watching? Of course you're still gonna watch. There's only the most handsome, good-looking reader 
in the entire YouTube channel. Okay? So, <laughs> here we go. Let's see. Alam nyo yun, sarap na pinipikong ko yung mga yan talaga. Mm. Nung bata ako, sutil ako eh. <laughs> here we go. Let's see for the Libra. Queen of Wands. Can I say it? Sexy and confident. That's very Libra. Oh, I was out shopping the other day and there was a Libra and I hope she's watching. Um, there was a Libra and a Cancerian. I believe they were sisters, but they were together. And I just want to say hi. Mm. Okay. So I feel like the Librans right now are all about unapologetically Libra. Oh, we love the attitude. Yes. You know, it's just like, accept me, love me, care for me. Who cares? I know myself. That confidence is shining. Keep shining. <laughs> Keep smiling. Knowing you. Oh, yeah. It's also part karaoke here. Hello. <laughs> There's Filipino blood in this. So. <laughs> so Queen of Wands is showing mystic also. The Librans are doing a little bit juju here and there. Manifestation, law of attraction, studying the mystic and the occult. Okay. I love that. Um, I'm seeing here also where you just believe that this is your year, okay? Like, yes, it's, it's you know, this is the bi-weeklies, meaning this is the mid-month check-in for you guys. Yes, we are at the last part, you know, we're about to go to the Burr months, but you're claiming it. So I like that you're coming in, you're stepping up, and you're telling basically the world that it's not yet too late. I'm in the running, all right? Queen of Wands is like, I gotta have a party to attend to. Yes, she is a party goer. Um, she's very confident. When I say confident, she embraces her sexuality, meaning it's like you're comfortable with your own skin, you know? And she does, um, gets a lot of attention, okay? So, like, when you go into a room as a queen of wands, everybody looks at you. It's like, who's that? Who's that? Well, that's a Libra, darling. Oh, <laughs> that's a Libra. Now, during this time, let me see where's uh, Venus right now for the, um for you guys. Okay. I do say the Alvedic astrology also. Um, for the Librans, I'm seeing your Lagna Lord right now is in the oh wow yes. Can we ring the bell of abundance, Sal? Because it's a, it's a done yoga. Venus is in the eleventh house. When your Lagna Lord is in the eleventh, money comes to you. Can we ring the bell of abundance? This is free, guys. This is an om. Um, brass bell, which I will talk about later. I would ring it three times, and it's free to put in the comments. Money comes to me. Money comes to me. Money comes to me. Aura aura lang, yes. Ah, uh, just listening to that. I know whoever is out there. <laughs> You're going to be making money. Oh my God, I'm excited for you. Because it's a Dan yoga. Dan means charity also. Okay? So we like when you're Lagna Lord, but you're the product. Okay? When I was doing my, um, how do you call this, when reading um, you know, um, Vedic astrology, when you have, let's just say you, your birth chart, right? You're gonna, you have Venus is in Leo for you. Okay, you are the product. So what does it mean when you are the product? If you are in social media, you are the product. If you launch a skincare and it's about your skin, how it helps you, you are the product. If you write a book, you are the product. A script, you are the product. You understand me? So this right here, you can sell. So you can be an OF. You know, I'm kidding. <laughs> That's a different website sell. Okay, but it's going to make money. Okay, so no Tino Shade. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh, but yes, so this is wonderful for money, for income. This is a good time for the for the Librans. Um, it's in 19 degrees right now. Um, and it's going to soak in there for the next couple of weeks still because Venus is like that. I mean, it's, it's like 30 or something days. So we love this. This is a good time. And the confidence that you are showing right now, uh, some people could be like kind of like developing feelings. So you can be a younger air sign I'm seeing here. And some of you guys, there's a friend, quote unquote, friend that is developing feelings towards you. My, my, my. So who is he? Majority of the people who watch my channel are women. So that's why I said, who is he? But it could be a she, he, whatever you identify yourself. Okay. So let me see here. Okay. Clearly, I identify as a flying object. <laughs> A UFO it is, yes. I Hello, look at me. Do I look like I'm from this planet? I'm too good looking for the humans. Thank you. Eight of Wands right here. The Librans are about to travel. Oh, I love. 
Librans are about to travel. People ask me when I do my read, is he high? High on energy, yes. No, I'm just, this is just me. Could you believe? <laughs> this is me. <laughs> um, Eight of Wands, you're meeting people online. There is a foreign travel that is here. You are also going to get promoted with the Eight of Wands we love. A lot of emails coming in and out. I feel like, you know, you're very busy, like, you know, like responding to emails, this, this, and that's like your go, 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 okay? Now, one thing with the Eight of Wands also is... um. When I said meeting people online, because the Queen of Wands, she's single, okay? Now, if you are single, well, then you're ready to mingle with the Eight of Wands. We love. That is so nice. It's very refreshing energy um, that, you know, like we're seeing some um, single blessedness here. Now, considering that Mercury is in retrograde, uh, retrograde, ang uh, arte kasi, no? Oy, gumising-gising ka, bibili ka nito mamaya, so, um, there are some parts here that I'm seeing where reconciliation. Where's my glasses? I didn't, okay, because I can't see. Okay. The Three of Cups is no, because it's, it's too, sh um, the, the lighting is too bright. Um, the Three of Cups is here, which means like if you have someone who is, um, let's just say you had an argument, but this is more of like a friend or a coworker, okay? They might, or a younger person, but it's not, I don't sense it as a, it's a, a love interest, something like that. No, I don't think so. It's more of like someone wants to talk to you about like, hey, can we patch things up? Are we cool? Are we good? Like that. I love that. Very friendly. Very, very friendly. So it's more of like a network of friends. Uh -huh. I don't see it, um, how do you call this? Love interest. So one second. So now, if I move this now with the next card right here, um, there is someone who wants to show up in your life that you said, don't show up in my life, but they're a little bit persistent. I see here a concern. So some of you guys are connecting with a concern and they're in the mood to just talk to you, but you said, don't talk to me anymore. Okay. So I guess, you know, like loss in translation, maybe they speak a different language, you know? It's like, no, so I told them in five languages. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you are, what do you call that? I forgot when you have, when you can speak multiple language, I forgot. Not poly, poly, poly is I think multiple relationship or something. Oh, I... Linguist, I can call you linguist. Okay, linguist. Okay. For me, I love, I love, you know, like you're a linguist, I love linguini. We kind of know each other there. Okay. We have something in common. Okay. Strength. Ooh, we are resisting temptation. So I don't want to fall in love anymore. You got a strength, the devil, and the ace of cups. El Diablo. Thunder, thunder, thunder. Still no budget for special effects here. Okay. Strength card with the devil. Oh, you guys are noticing the scarf. Thank you. It's also a Sri Yantra. Okay. So the strength card here and the devil, it's giving like, I don't want to be part of anything toxic, Sal. Like, no, Sal. Okay, I hear you there. Um, there is now, since I did mention, it's like, oh, love interest, Sal. What about love interest? We're going to look into the love sector of the Librans. And the ruler, oh, I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you're married, these are for people who's married. Um, the person that you are connecting with, I see that they have been hiding secrets from you. It's going to come out and it's regards to the finances that the two of you have or the people is married. Oh, dear low. Mm -hmm. I feel like they've been using money. We don't know where it's going. So we have to do some accounting. Oh, if you're married, I'm very secretive kind of individual right now that you're dealing with. Okay. Which chance are that's why the strength card is here. You got triggered. And you don't want to deal with anyone, okay, who's being, you know, who's going to be the secretive, right? So, I'm seeing here right now where someone is, um, is finding you irresistible, a little bit controlling, yes. I mean, the toxic nature is here because they love you and then they're gone and then back and forth like that. Um, it's giving karmic connection, yes, it's giving, and it's serving toxicity, giving and serving, okay, giving karmic, serving toxic, okay, man, so, <laughs> where is this read coming from? Again, I only read the cards, okay, <laughs> so, with the Ace of Cups, it's more of like, I just want someone new, please tell me that there is someone new in my life, you know, I just want to forget about the past, 
I hear you on that one. I hear you loud and clear because you do have the devil card here and then the ace of cups. You are realizing right now, it's like, maybe it's time for me to have someone you... Let me see, where is the new person? Well, there's a reason why there's an ex coming back. And it's not related to Mercury in retrograde. Your fifth house lord, which is Saturn, is in retrograde right now. The ruler of the fifth, which is dating and romance, Saturn is there for the next year. Still next year. Um, starting June all the way to November, Saturn is in retrograde. Unfinished business. Mm -hmm. Even in France also. So it's giving your person cannot let go. Okay, and right now they could be very obsessed with you and you have gotten over this already. Okay, so you're in a better place. This person always uh, it can be a little bit, well, no, it's not really a little bit. They're very lusty when it comes to, because they, ob uh, is that what it, I think the right word is objectify. Nearly 9 out of 10 people suffer from financial stress. This lunar eclipse that is coming is so strong that this is your chance to get out of your financial stress. Great gurus from all over the world knows about this ancient Sri Yantra that if you use it, if you want fast results, in my experience, using Eclipse is the best time to manifest. And you combine the Sri Yantra, you will be so surprised. I will be performing a specific ritual with a prayer that will energize this Yantra, this Eclipse. Visit my website, eatreadlove.me. Okay, like they look, they look, they lust for you. Um, you know, it's very carnal. It's very fleshy, fleshy, fleshy. Okay. Um, and you want love, right? You know, it's just like, you know, you got to treat me with love and respect, right? <laughs> really? Libra? Really? Okay. <laughs> no, of course. Um, but with the devil card here, they want to treat you with something different, you know? Mm-hmm. Because okay, there's a lot, there's a lot here with the eight of ones with the devil card. There's a lot of messages coming from this person, and they keep saying everything except that you know that they love you and that they care about you. Aw, what's going on there? Aw, okay. Magician with a ten of ones right here. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. You're tired, Libra. You're tired. You're you're sh uh, you're showing here with the Queen of Swords and the Two of Swords. Like I don't want to be part of any kind of relationship right now or connection. There is something about I want to learn to love myself again. Oh, really? <laughs> well, well, well. If there's anything that I'm expert is self-love, okay? Who's your ex-husband or ex? Do they have a credit card? You just know the last six-digit number, okay? The Ritz-Carlton is a good way to heal, okay? <laughs> the Waldorf, of course, um, is also a good way to heal the Four Seasons, yes. A little bit trip in Hawaii, in the Maldives. Yes, that's the start of healing. Okay. <laughs> now, because the Queen of Cups here and the Ace of Cups, you're questioning, it's like, how come I keep trying to give my love to this person, you know, who you trusted, but they betrayed you? Because the Queen of Swords is divorce and separation. So you have been dealing with this for a very long time, and now you're saying that my mind is made, Sal, I don't want to be part of it anymore. Okay. Now that you don't want to be part of it anymore, I feel like you're ready. The Librans are ready when Saturn is in retrograde right now here in your fifth house. And hear me out. Okay, hear me out. You're ready to manifest. Okay. Well, lucky you, especially if you are new to my channel. I am the expert. Okay. The one, the only. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages. <laughs> No drum roll. I mean, there is no budget in this show, I swear. <laughs> okay. I, let me introduce to you the creation of the century. Um, now, this is what I'm preparing for the upcoming eclipse, like what I mentioned, which I will have a free workshop as well, is um, we're going to start clearing our energy to attract prosperity in our life. There are different ways that we can do this. And of course, abundance comes in different uh, form and also prosperity. 
But I'm really, and I'm being honest here, my expertise is money. Okay? <laughs> to manifest and attract money. Okay? Now, what you're seeing here, this is, uh, this is a whole set. Okay? This is one of the sacred geometry, which is the mother of all um, uh, yantras. This is uh, the Sri Yantra. Okay, each triangle, each line has a specific uh, divine meaning. Okay, so um, it is believed that meditating, which I will share with you guys at the end, um, meditating and using um, the the yantra, okay, to manifest um, our healing, of course, and at the same time our desire can bring it into reality. Have I tried it? One hundred percent. Did it help me overnight? I'm telling you, this one right here is mine. You're not going to get it. Okay? <laughs> I will give you, of course, your own. So this is not it. Oh, okay? this is mine. So when you get this, guys, this is free shipping in the U.S. And we ship to more than 80 countries across the globe. Let me give you guys the gorgeousness. It comes with a free 18 karat Piao obsidian and moonstone in time for the lunar eclipse dun 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 real gold real of course real gold eight and carrot my love you see that okay i'm gonna change my name after this as jafar <laughs> the handsome one and it comes with a free gorgeous my golly is that the is that uh what do you call it a compact no it's not okay this is a jasmine incense which is good for attracting Goddess Lakshmi. One of her favorite uh, flower is um, jasmine. Okay, so the incense is here. It's inside, and it comes in this wooden. You're gonna see it there. This is where you put the wood, the stick, the incense. Oh, okay, so it's inside, and of course, you know me. I'm as a Libra myself. We gotta be gorgeous and bougie. Look at the packaging on this. Oh, it's free. We never charge here. We never even charge shipping. Now this one right here. I have a secret way of manifesting. Okay, with regards to cash flow, this will be your cash box. Okay, now it doesn't come with cash, of course, <laughs> but this is a cash box. Okay, I will tell you where to put it. Okay. I've done it in like four or five years already. Okay, I'll share that. And the wonderful Om Bell, of course, for cleansing the house. Okay, free when you get your Yantra. Okay, the Sri Yantra. And at the end, I will teach you how to use the Sri Yantra. Don't worry for people who saying, Sal. Um, you know, oh, these are pre-order, guys, pre-order, okay? Just letting you know, what is pre-order, okay? You will not get it until after the eclipse because I would have to do the ritual for you. So if you are in some way, some sh um, for, uh, uh, shape or form, will be anxious as I ordered today, I'm not getting it tomorrow. No, you can't. We got it. The eclipse. We have to wait for the eclipse. The eclipse is on the 17th, okay? So let me do my magic and I got you, Okay. My, my, my energy here is focusing on bringing abundance to your life, mainly money. And I'm just being honest here, okay? The holidays is coming, darling. You want to have a lot of money before that, you know, before Mariah starts singing, okay? So, we all know about the magic of the Piao. Yes, I will teach you more. And the Obsidian for protection, Moonstone, of course, as it is a lunar eclipse. The Piao has helped me so much. The growth of the channel, everything. I'm going to put this here. Okay, so now we're going to come back to the read. All right, we have an oracle. I told you it's going to be a long one. Okay. I tag everything down there. All right. Now, considering how much, all right, um, you know, if it's available, it's available. If it's gone, it's gone. Uh -huh. Because I don't know if I can keep up with the thousands. All right, like I literally have no time right now. Um, you have here changes. You have the death card. Oh, yeah, you want to step. Ooh! We have a new lover. Can I ring the bell for the new lover? Okay. You know what they say? Ring my bell. You can ring my bell. Yes. Ring my bell. Yes. Because you have a king of cups here, ace of cups. I feel like your whole, like, um, how do you call this, Libra? Your whole life will turn 360. And one, your person is also coming back, whoever that is. That's going to be your business. Meaning if you accept the person to reconcile with you, that's all up to you. But I do see here a new person and it's giving Scorpio vibes. All okay? right. Now, the death card with the King of Cups, definitely Scorpio. A new life begin. Oh, I love. Can we get more? Uh -huh. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. I forgot 
Okay. Because I'm so proud of the things I do. It comes with this, guys. Velvet. Ah, oh, we're having a moment. Look at that. Okay. It's not Hermes. Okay. <laughs> it's a bag from me. It's really love. Okay. It's a Kelly 20 something. Okay. Kelly Kelly Han. Mm. Hoy. Bumili na. Mm. Para swerte. Pag, pag, pag kumanto na si Jose Marichan dyan sa September. Oh. Paano yung mga pamangkin mo kung mag, bumili ka na? Mm. Two of Cups right here, darling. I told you. Love is in the air. I did a Scorpio reading. They got a soulmate coming to them. So I don't know if you guys are connecting because there's definitely a Scorpio energy here. Now, you have a Two of Cups here, which means soulmate, um, communication, love. You know, these two people are bound by fate. Look at that. Okay. So the two of you are meant to be. Ace, and I said, you, everything is turning around. Um, two of Cups came up. Cards will never lie. Judgment is upon you, Libra. Time to make that decision. Mm. What's your decision then? You tell me. We're about to go to the Oracle cards right here. Don't forget, I'm still going to teach you how to manifest luck, wealth in your life. Okay? Okay, okay. Let me see. I'm going to do this one first, okay? Oracle-wise. Uh, what else does a Libra want from me? What? Okay, since I've been gone. Oh, it's a song. Since I've been... Oh, since, you, since you've been gone. <laughs> okay. I can't live... Mm. Yep. I will never be copyrighted because I don't even know the lyrics. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. We have here co-create. Let me teach you what, what co-create means. Okay. Um, so I'm going to teach you a little, a thing or two about magic. Okay. Don't be ever scared of magic. Okay. Magic is, magic is how we live life, you know, because when you fall in love, it's like, oh, it's like magic. But when we light a candle, oh, magic. Mm. But when you're in love with a devil card, oh, it's magic. Mm. Now let me teach you about magic and co-create. The moment you wake up, the moment you wake up, yes, the moment you wake up, uh -huh, you set the tone of what reality you're going to be in for that day. Do you want to be happy? Then set that tone. Okay. You want to be feeling love? Set the tone. You want to be grateful? Make sure that you put that intention. So when our mind is at rest, okay, when we are at sleep, of course, you know, we have our subconscious, our dreams, all those things. But as soon as we are in the three-dimensional world, our mind is so strong Okay, that it can really make things happen just by, okay, creating it first here, okay, and then watch it will unfold because you're creating your rea own reality. Like in my own reality, okay, like look at this. I feel like I have a Netflix show where there's millions of people in front of me, but it's not. <laughs> Only thousands. By the hundreds. Okay? No, 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 it's true. So that's it. You know, you are your own star. You do understand that. So create that stage for you, Libra. Be the center of your life. Does it make sense? You do deserve this. You are the queen. Queen of Wands right there. You are the queen of cups. You are the, um, how do you call this? The queen of, uh, queen of swords, queen of cups, queen of wands. So you're definitely queening. Queening. <laughs> okay. We're going to get the next oracle. Mm. And then, of course, as we reach to this point of the read, you're going to ask yourself. No, I'm pretty sure you're going to ask yourself. Huh. 30 minutes of my life. What did I pick up from this reading? I know, right? <laughs> You and me, the same thing. Nothing. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I told you. I told you. And someone's going to come, you know. Okay. Oh, for people who doesn't know how to read, uh, just in case, for people who doesn't know how to read, down there it says comments, not complaints. Just saying. Okay. <laughs> just in case you need your eyes checked. Okay. Let me see another oracle and I will teach you guys how. Oh, I'm excited for this one. Ooh, okay. How to okay, manifest money into your life. All right. Okay. Oh, this is limited stock, guys. Okay. It's for financial uh, uh, financial freedom. This is the financial freedom. Okay. Bundle like Ah, oh, I told you earlier, judgment. You see that? And then now, decide. Look at this. Feather. I love a feather. Okay. Look at that. 
a lot of feather. Um, the feather, I feel like, reflects the choices that you have to make in life. Okay. Um, let's see what's uh, you know at the back. Okay. It's time to make a decision. Being on the fence drains your energy. No matter what you choose, it will be the exact right thing for your spiritual path. Chanel your energy. Chanel. <laughs> I mess with you. <laughs> Channel your energy. So you choose Chanel. So not Bottega, Balenciaga, <laughs> Yves Saint Laurent, no? Okay. Blue no? Okay. Channel your energy. Be decisive. Learn. Grow. Decide. Okay. Let me repeat for people who didn't understand because I keep joking. It's time to make a decision. Being on the fence drains your energy. No matter what you choose, it will be the exact right thing for your spiritual path. Channel your energy, be decisive, learn, grow, decide. I feel like the biggest crime in this planet is to stay stagnant and don't choose neither side. Okay, because it restricts your growth, which is it showing here, right? Learn, grow, decide. You're probably in the defense of like, oh, should I come back with my ex? Decide. Okay, it's a no. <laughs> I'll make that decision for you. Or is it time for me to date someone new? Decide. Yes, you are. Okay. <laughs> oh, we're not done. We just we just started. Welcome, guys, to my channel. We're doing another read for your coins. Oh my god, Sam! <laughs> of course. Okay, we're gonna do another coin reading because I haven't seen okay the coins. I didn't see coins. And you guys know me with Librons. Can I leave you guys without the pentacles? 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 You guys, the OG of uh, money reading. Okay. Let me see. Let's get you a brief one. Okay. Let me see. I did a belly earlier, yes. But I want to see more about your money. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why do I sense that you are stuck in a work Kind of like a corporate or like you're going to the mundane. Like, I work, I home, go, sleep, this and that. And you're feeling like there's nothing I can do, Sal. There's nothing I can do. I'm stuck in this job or business. And you feel alone in this. Like, you feel manifesting money. Like, it's just you. You could be the, you know, the sole provider. You know, you're the breadwinner. I'm the bread eater. I love a good ciabatta bread or focaccia. Okay, I'm a baker. <laughs> so... Eight of Swords with Eight of Pentacles. You feel like, yeah, it feels like it's never going to improve. Why you got to do that to yourself, Libra? Your mind is so powerful, so don't ever, okay? I see here right now, oh, hear me out, um, that you isolated yourself with regards to, let's just say, because the hermit is here, like you isolated yourself so that way you can kind of like plan your way um, with regards to handling your finances or maybe look for a new job or a best way to promote your business, Eight of Pentacles, because you want financial independence with Eight of Pentacles. You are a hardworking person, though, Eight of Pentacles. Like, you deliver, you know. With the Hermit, though, you feel like, how come I work so hard and there's not enough money still yet, Sal? I am 100% aware of that because I've been there, Okay. But ever since, of course, I use all the magic that I knew in this world right now after going to the archives, okay, archives, ooh, smart, okay, <laughs> of different manifestation technique. Yes, I, I was able to change the way that I attract money. Just to give you guys a, a, you know, a little bit of a clue, I used to, I mean, when I was still a chef and I was, I was in New York, oh, here we go, darling, it was only like two years ago. I was 21, okay, so I'm 23 right now, okay. <laughs> So earlier, you're 22. Well, it depends on the day or where the sun is, okay? <laughs> so, and I feel like age is a lie. Don't you feel it? Okay. <laughs> but the knees will never lie in the back. <laughs> uh, anyway, because you're talking about Sal, Eight of Swords. Enlighten me, Sal, with uh, how you have handled, like, getting out of... I was working $7 an hour. No, it wasn't the 70s. How dare you? Oh, I was $7 an hour. No benefits, nothing like that. Working 90 hours because I was training. I was like a, we call it stage in as a chef. Okay, if you're a chef, then you would know. I was like apprentice, but not 
full time, yes, but you have to learn the chef. I have no complaint with being a chef. I love being a chef. But just the money, darling. Okay. I live in a basement. I sleep next to a uh, a, a dryer washing machine like that. Okay, in Queens. Uh, I represent. No complaints with my life there. But I know how to work hard, just like you, Libra. But money was so far. Okay. <laughs> money was so far. And I have all the intention not to be wealthy, but to help my family. Yes. Alam nyo na yun, di ba? Yung maraming papadalan, maraming may kailangan, yung nana, yung magulang, nandun lahat sa Pinas, di ba? No. But my family is here, is here in America. <laughs> so it's even more expensive to send money inside America. No. I'm messing with people there. Yeah. But anyway, so I know how it uh, how it works. And then I went for corporate, eight of pentacles, work 90 hours. I sleep at the restaurant. I was a general manager of a multi-million company. Still no money. Still no money. I opened my own business. Still no money. And then magic happened. I learned how to manifest. I learned to work hard and at the same time use the energy that is available around me. The attitude towards money, the attitude towards the world, you know, because I was just focused on being the best and I thought that was going to make me money. It never did. I was always the best. I was a general manager. The sales of my restaurant is probably like two to three million, 600 seating capacity. I receive awards. I never receive bonus. <laughs> so, but now I create this reality Basically, I attract depends on how much my faith is. Because I know God will provide. And God never lets me down, I can tell you that. <laughs> never. That is the most, uh, um, you know, like how I live my life. I put focus and center, of course, with my faith. Yes. So let's see. So we're still in love. Okay, six of cups. <laughs> So after all my speech of manifesting, or but this could be so, like this could be you revisiting something that you used to do in your fifth house. Fifth house is hobby, not your husband, but a hobby, and then now you want to make money out of it, like a craft. Okay, let's just say you like to paint, bake, or you're a writer. Um, something creative normally. This sparks six of cups past life. So you have a gift. Look where your K2 is, okay, the south node. That's where your past life uh, kind of uh, thing going on. And you can bring it to reality here. So for me, let me just share so that people are aware that I'm human. Okay, because people think like I'm just this wonderful being, you know. I have my down days. No, I'm kidding. Um, the six of cups is about your, pa your past life gifts. Like for example, me. I am... What was 15 years as a pastry chef? I mean, yes, as a chef, I went to, um, you know, I went to pilot school, I, you know, corporate, all those things. But it turns out my gift is this. So I'm, e it was very, it's not even, it's very easy. It was natural for me to see, okay, you know, using astrology cards, tarot, oracle, to give guidance and give an insight of what the future can be. Because mm -hmm. I know where my K2 is, right? And then I've noticed also that one of my gifts is this, teaching people, giving people that hope, you know, that yes, you can, and I'm with you. That's the thing. I'm here with you, Libra, with whatever that you're manifesting. May it be love or money. Oh, and this is um, energized, okay? Energized by yours truly. That's why you cannot get it um, until after the eclipse. So we will energize it, Okay. You got me? So if it's available, um, it's going to be down there. Normally, I put a stock or two until I, okay, this is for you. This is for that. So I'm very, very I have a, I, I have some Virgo, okay? <laughs> very systemat systematic. And then the the whole workaholic, that's the Libra side. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, um, it's time. It's time, Libra, for you to revisit the talent, for you to learn that you have a special gift, the Six of Cups. Use that gift, use the talent. Um, and that will give you the abundant life. And what else can give you abundance is me teaching you how to attract it. Okay? So everything is down there. All right? And now, let me teach you how to attract money, abundance, prosperity in your life.
Welcome to this powerful meditation for manifesting your deepest desires. As you journey inward, allow yourself to align with the universe's abundant energy, opening the door to endless possibilities. As you journey inward, focus your gaze on the Sri Yantra, allowing its sacred geometry to guide your intentions. Breathe deeply through your nose and exhale through your mouth, visualizing your desires flowing into reality with each breath. Let the energy of the Sri Yantra amplify your manifestations as you attract the wealth, love, and success you deserve. Namaste.